Today, we're taking the comfortable approach. I'm sitting in my car. Actually, I was going somewhere anyway. So I just stopped real quick at this poke gym here because yesterday this was definitely in yellow hand with two Pokemon with a CP of over 600. Now it is in red hand and there's a Raticat with a CP of about 300 there. So I feel like, hey, I should be able to take that. Not with the Pokemon I have right now. I mean, let me give you a quick update on what I do have. I uh, caught quite a few Pokemon just while being at home and I didn't feel like recording it because most of it was small stuff. However, I did catch an Oddish with a CP of over 100, which is way stronger than the Gloom we caught before. I caught different versions of other Pokemon you already had with a higher CP, so I released the one that we caught before. And um, I caught a Horsey, which is something that I hadn't had before, but I couldn't pass it up since it was right like outside of my house. Um, so I got that, which is pretty good. Um, still very, very, uh, very, very weak. So I thought about leveling up a little bit. And I think the best option we have right now is our Pidgeot. First of all, it doesn't evolve anymore, so it doesn't lose its moves. And second of all, um, Pidgey candy is probably one of the easiest candy to come by. And we have 35 right now. So let's see how, what a power up does to a Pidgeot. So you got 200 Stardust and one candy and I have over 5,000 now, so I think we can afford it. Let's see what happens. I have never done this before. It does nothing. <laughs> there we go. Do you want to power up? Yes, I do. 113. All right, plus 28. That's not too shabby. Um, almost one of our... Let's do it again. We can't afford it right now. I would like to get him to about 200 and then try and face this Raticat. I don't know if we are strong enough for that or not. I know that you can evade attacks and you can use your different attacks. So, oh wow, it's getting more expensive. 400 Stardust. Okay, one more. That's a lot of Stardust actually. All right, 171. Should we try it with that? It's not too bad. What would the next step cost? Another 400 kind of bugs me that it's getting more expensive. I mean, I have a couple of potions by now, so if we lose, we could probably try it again. All right, let's go in. Hello, Reddy Cat, it's the only, oh, it's too far away, really? Are you gonna make me get out of my car? All right, guys, let's do it. Fight to the death. Pidgeot, you're up. I said, you're up. Oh, is that my team? Oh, I see. So I need a whole team for that? Well, I guess this seems like a reasonable team against one Raticat. Let's see what we can do. Maybe I should have sent another one. Oh, he has a, a Jinx? No, that's another gym, right? All right, let's see. Let's, oh, no. Attack. Get out of the way. Attack, attack. Get out of the way. Attack. Get out of the way. Ah, crap. This is tough. Get out of the way. Oh, no. All right. I don't. I think he didn't hit me. Oh, man. Use it again. Okay. If you use the special attack, I can get out of the way. Which is... An, oh, man. I'm really low, though. Come on. You can do it. Get out of the way. Attack. Okay. It's low. It's low. It's low. It's low. You can do it. Come on, Pidgeot. Get out of the way. No, no, no. Oh, we got it. Holy crap. Did we... Pokemon defeated one. XP plus 150. Gym prestige minus 200. Oh my god. We neutralized this gym right now. Wow. Great job, Pidgeot. And now we can let... Leave a Pokemon here, right? Should we leave a Zubat just for fun? I mean, we're gonna lose it anyways. But... Oh man. Pidgeot is really down. Um... I just caught this Krabby too. We could we could leave a quite a few things here if we wanted to. <laughs> you know what? Let's leave this Rattata here. Just for fun. I just want to see what happens. Um, are you sure you want to assign Rattata to the gym? It won't be returned to your collection until it's kicked out of the gym. Yes. And now it's yellow again. That's pretty awesome. Level up. Level 6. Damn, it was pretty fun. It was really close. But we did it. Like, okay, there is a lot of technique to it. 
Um, and I guess these kind of fights, they are not turn-based. I kind of guess why it would be hard to actually face a real opponent um, in that case. Look at this little Rattata on top of there. <laughs> That's pretty funny. You can probably say another is in there, but I, I expect to lose this gym within a couple of hours. But hey, just for fun, let's try it out. All right, that was really cool, actually. Yep. They sure are on the hunt. Is he fighting me? I wonder. I actually was not going to go out today again, but this drowsy really tempted me. Let's catch that sucker. And also, at the house. First try. <laughs> awesome. That is one new type, psychic, very useful. And now I finally have this one. And also, actually what I should have done way earlier, but I didn't get around to, we have a couple more eggs. I think I showed them to you. Let's start incubating this five kilometer egg. Start incubation using the infinite one. I don't really want to use the other one. I probably should, but you know, every time I play a game, I'm always all about saving items like that. Anyways, this is going to start incubating now. And uh, you see this guy here, a Fero. Let's see if we can find him. That would be awesome. Didn't find the Fero, but I found the Ghastly, which is also something I didn't have before. Nice. First try once more. Come on. It's actually really cool that once a certain time of day hits, there's different Pokemon out there. I really love that about the second gen, and I also love it in Pokemon Go. How much will a Ghastly need to evolve? Probably, I'm gonna guess 25. Ha! Look at me. Starting to notice game now. Awesome. Very good indeed. Let's see, this Fero, I couldn't pinpoint it yet. I don't know which direction it should be. I guess I'm kind of lucky, while I was lying in bed last night and this morning, I caught almost 20 Pokemon. <laughs> just without even moving, which is pretty cool. Most of them were just Weedles, some Rattata, some Pidgeys. Um, I transferred them all already. We got, oops, no, that's not the one. We got a better Horsey, and I think the Venonat is also new, and better Eevee too. So, um, as someone said in the comments, um, Eevees apparently evolve random, not quite randomly, but yeah, randomly depending on the second attack. So Swift, ah, uh, I want to say it was Jolteon, I might be wrong about that. Uh, the other one we had before has a second attack, Body Slam, and that is Va Vaporeon, I believe? I, I need to look it up again. Anyways. Um, so we already have two different EVs, which is pretty cool. We need a third one though, and then we need a lot more to be able to evolve even one of them. Well, that should be fun. Uh, I also got my Rattata back that we left at the gym. I don't know if you show I showed that to you. Uh, yeah, we basically got it back at 1 HP, and honestly, I'm just gonna release it, because I caught another one which has a much higher CP and also knows Dig. Not that it will really matter, because once I evolve it, it will learn new attacks anyways. Uh, I've tried fighting again in the gym that only had like a, um, a Bulbasaur level 14 so I could easily take that down. Unfortunately I didn't know that once you defeat the weakest Pokemon in the gym you automatically have to fight the next stronger one. So my Pidgeotto got destroyed um, during that which was a little bit unfortunate but hey that's how it goes. I still haven't healed my Pidgeot but I will do that probably soon because um, look at that. I collected 64 uh, Pidgey candy, so we could power up our Pidgeot uh, quite a bit more, which is probably what we should do since it is our stronger right now. And who knows when we're gonna catch a stronger one than what we have already. The thing is, since I caught so many Pokemon um, last night, check out my items. Not a single Pokeball left. So if I encounter something now, I'm pretty much screwed. I definitely need to farm some Pokestops now before I can do anything else. And that's probably what I'll do next. Um, we are almost at level 7 here due to all the catches, so that's pretty good. Um, collected over 84 Pokemon already in two days. Holy crap. Anyways, just wanted to bring you guys up to speed. Um, I'm gonna go out now and farm some Pokestops, and when I find something interesting, I'll uh, show you guys. 
This Pokestop right there has a lure on it. I saw one of those yesterday, but I couldn't leave my house when I saw it, but this is right here. So I gotta check it out. Maybe I'll find some other people running around there. Uh, that should be fun. There is uh, a Ponita nearby somewhere. I don't think it's right there, but maybe it is. Let's check it out for sure. Can I already see some people sitting on the bench uh, or the sidewalk back there. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of time right now, but you know what's funny? I know exactly who placed that lure there. A good friend of my cousin who lives right next to this poker stop. So, yeah, you can see the names of people who placed it there and I saw, I saw it and I recognized it immediately. That's kind of funny. So I now I know that he placed two. Oh, what's that? Oh my God, an Abra. Holy crap. Yeah, let's get it. That is really awesome. I didn't have an Abra yet. Come on, stay in there. You can do it. Oh, come on, really? Oh no. Oh, it teleported away. Oh, crap. That's unfortunate. That gym is too hard, by the way. Oh, man, I was so hoping to get an opera. Uh, anyways, I gotta go. Guys, finally, we found a Paris. Right here at home. Isn't that awesome? Come on, stay in there. Um, I met a couple of kids while I was out uh, hunting for poker stuff. We were talking again. It was so awesome. Uh, seeing all these people running around outside and doing that stuff. Really, really cool. And you have something in common to talk about. Love it. All right, nice. New Pokedex entry. Level up to level 7. And I caught another Eevee. So now we have all three varieties of Eevees, which is good to start off with. We'll see if we can if we can use it. Yeah, there you can see another EV. Another PG uh, caught a ghastly with 147. One of our strongest now, so I can get rid of this other ghastly. Uh, we still need quite a few more ghastlies to evolve it, but that's a good start. And yeah, the other guys were telling me about they caught a, sh uh, a squirtle and they caught some cool other stuff that I didn't have yet. But we're getting oh nine out of nine eggs. Should start hatching, huh? Got a 10 kilometer egg from one of the poker stops. Lots of eggs. Should we put it in? Let's put it in. Start incubation in one of our three uses, guys. All right, I don't know when that's gonna happen, but as you can see, the other egg is almost ready. 500 more meters. Actually, I could just go for another 500 meter walk. <laughs> that's not a lot. <laughs> Crap, I'm not addicted, I swear.